The further I got into transition, the more I noticed that I was kicking bad habits to the curb, or what I thought were bad habits. Like, um, I, well, for one thing, I always bit my nails, and so I always walked around with these really stubby nails, and when I decided that I wanted to actually be a woman, I decided, you know, I can't have these stubby nails. I want long, pretty, painted nails. And, um, and what had been so hard to just, you know, let my nails grow out suddenly was so easy to do. But sometimes old habits strike back, and I chewed off all my fingernails, which, you know, I guess it's still in me a little bit, you know? But it'll they'll grow back. I'll let it go again. Today I want to uh, talk about another thing that I love, share, and I want to share it with you, and that is estrogen hormones. That's the hormones that I take. Um, I've been on hormones for six months now. In fact, I just had my six-month anniversary the other day. Um, I take a patch like this, and I won't open one now because I, it's not my day to put it on, but you just tear it open and you stick it on your skin. Um, not just anywhere, you're supposed to put it somewhere specific. Um, pretty much wherever you'd get a shot of estrogen. And uh, that's how it works. So, um, and I've never done any hormone update videos, so I wanted to share with you kind of what have hormones done to me, and what have I noticed, what kind of changes have I noticed. And I'm going to try to go in chronological order, but I might slip a bit. So, yeah, I've been on hormones for six months and like seven days or something. Um, and I mean, I've, I've noticed a lot of significant changes, although I think the most significant changes have been kind of in the last month or two, like the last eight, six to eight weeks. Um, but starting at the beginning, I noticed a lot of, um, I, I noticed first that my skin was getting softer. Um, I was touching my arm and my skin just felt a little, little, I could pinch it and it was a little, there was a little more, more fat there. And I mean, I was expecting that I'd get some fat redistribution, um, but I didn't quite know, you know, I didn't know what to expect, so when I touched myself and just the texture of my skin was softer, that was so nice. Um, and it was, you know, it, it, it happened in, like, in about the first four weeks, and um, I didn't, uh, you know, it was my first sign that everything was working, so I was like, thank goodness. Um, around that time, also, my um, my body hair started to thin out a bit. So, uh, I always used to be kind of a fuzzy boy. Like, a lot of chest hair, a lot of arm hair. Um, and, you know, like, really scruffy beard I used to have. And, um, you know, my body hair started to, to lighten and thin out, so... It's not gone completely, but like I used to shave my arms because I thought they were a giveaway for, for passing in public. But after a little while, I mean, I don't have to anymore because they're, they're thin and blonde. Maybe you can't see them so well. But yeah, they used to be a lot thicker and darker. All the hair is everywhere. And they've actually really lightened up on my legs. And, you know, shaving my legs used to be really a nasty procedure. But uh, it's, not, it's not so tough anymore. Um, I also started to get tired, a little bit tired more often, and I've been taking, um, anti-androgens along with my, um, estrogen. So, I was expecting to get a little more tired easily, and, yeah, I would just find myself going to bed a little earlier than normal, or just getting tired earlier in the day from kind of doing the same amount of work that I was used to doing, but not being able to handle so much for some reason. And, I mean, I started to notice that I wasn't, I wasn't as strong. And I don't know how many of these effects are, like, psychosomatic. Like, I was expecting this to happen, so I, I feel it happening. But, I, you know, when I've had to, like, lift heavy boxes for, you know, bringing up furniture into my flat and installing, you know, putting together a sofa or a bed or whatever, um, you know, it's been hard. It's been harder than I thought. Um, so, you know, I've lost some strength. And, uh, and I, I feel like I've lost some muscle mass, like, especially my shoulders. I used to have these big, beefy shoulders, and you can see that they're, they're kind of scrawny now, but they used to be good. Um, you know, very, 
thick and round. Now they're a bit pointy up here and bony. Um, so I also, I used to do martial arts and um, my style involved a lot of kicking. So, and I did it for about five or six years. Um, so I always had semi-muscular legs and I mean, it made my legs look good in pantyhose, right? But they didn't look womanly. So there was, I remember just one day that I just was sitting with my legs crossed and I looked down at my legs and I was like, well, where'd all the muscles go? Because what had happened is this layer of fat had thickened on my thigh and, um, you know, the little details and crevices that I was used to seeing in between my muscles was now filled in with fat. And I think also my muscle mass on my legs had gotten a little bit smaller. So, um, you know, my my legs looked a little fattier and smoother and not as mus muscular. And uh, I was like, oh, you know, they, they look more, more girly, but my muscles are gone. <laughs> so that was kind of a, a bittersweet success. Um... Now, I also noticed that my sex drive went way down. Um, you know, I constantly struggle with how much personal information I want to share here, but I will say that, like, my, my uh, masturbation habits decreased significantly after starting hormones. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it takes a, a lot to get me in the mood where it didn't really used to take that much. Um, and so now when when I'm in a sexual mood, like, it's for a reason. It's not just, you know, I don't I don't get turned on as easily by things just because... Or if I do get turned on, I don't get turned on quite, like, as intensely. Like, it takes more work for me to really get into it. Um, and, you know, I've been reading, reading books about female sexuality to kind of learn more about this. Um, you know, I've noticed some changes in my face as well. Like, when I smile, I think that, that I've got a little bit more fat kind of on my cheeks. I mean, my, my, my facial bone structure hasn't changed at all, and I wasn't expecting it to because I'm, you know, 27, so what kind of, what kind of growing could my, my facial bones possibly have more to do? They, they, they don't have any more growing to do or changing. Um, and I was prepared for that by, you know, talking to my doctor and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think that like some I feel like I feel like some parts of my of my chin have kind of um thinned out a bit and um like a little bit's moved up here. Just I, when I smile it just feels a bit fattier here than it used to, but maybe it was that way before and I just never paid attention. I don't know. Um What else can I share with you? It took forever for me to start growing boobs. Seriously, forever. I mean, I always had kind of larger breasts as a man. Um, like, they were never really... I was never really, like, skinny, flat-chested. I always had kind of mounds, in fact. I got made fun of for it in middle school, and I just told them to fuck off. Um, but it felt like my breasts stayed the same size for about four months in the hormones. And it wasn't really into... It wasn't until into month four that I started to see really any changes at all. Maybe, maybe a little bit of changes, like my, I think my skin softened a little bit so that actually one morning, I remember, I, I woke up, I was laying on my side and like my chest skin was drooping a bit in a way that I'd never noticed it before. Um, but I don't feel like I really had any growth. Like my breast didn't get bigger or really change shape um, for about four months. So, you know, if you're starting hormones, you, you can expect to be going a while before you really see much, much boobage, uh, much boob action. Um, and, you know, there, there has um, been one other kind of uh, class of changes that I want to talk about, but I think it, it warrants its own video. Um, I'm going to be traveling this week, so I will try to fit in a video uh, while I'm, while I'm abroad. Um, but if not, then I will see you all when I get back, and I hope that this is satisfactory until next time. Alright, I'll see you. Bye.